viva function. And this is the growth of the xi function. Oh, oh vastly outgrow any other of these functions. But even though xi of 7 is smaller than sigma of 6, mm -hmm. for large enough powers of xi, it will vastly outgrow the sigma function. What's the busy beaver function? So if you, here's an example. So let's uh, say sigma... This is how you write sigma uh, of 2. The way you figure that out is you, you take a never ending string of zeros and and you can and right now it since it's sigma of two, it's like two it can only have two possible states, A and B. So right now it's on state A, but but it, it can move to the left or the right one place with then it, it could be over here but it doesn't just stay zero if you move from that thing it changes it to a one and, uh, and this would be state B and and that and that but if you but it can move to the left one more time goes to state H, even though I didn't mention a state H, that means halt, which halts the machine. So, so the, it replaces it with a 1 again. But there's many other rules to this. So, so but, the, but this doesn't mean sigma 2 equal, equals 2, because, because we're considering the maximum am amount of ones that could possi possibly be on the ne never ending string of zeros. So, so basically, if you're trying to find the max amount of, of ones you can make. But there's many other rules.